Welcome, welcome. Just giving you guys a sneak peek of what will be our home for our uh, muscular dystrophy rooftop camp out on the 7th and 8th of February. Not too bad out here today, a little bit chilly, not too, too cold. As you can see, I'm kind of standing in the footprint of where our, uh, where our tent will reside. And uh, we, uh, we're starting to get some, get lots of things coming together here and very excited to, uh, to be partnering with the Stone Road Mall to make this happen and look forward to seeing everybody out on the 7th and 8th of February. Thanks. Uh, we're back up on the roof, checking out the snow. We've got a good six to eight inches we're going to have to shovel off before we put the tent down. Uh, earning a little extra work up here. Uh, as you can see behind, uh, behind Mike, we have our barricades that were donated by uh, City of Guelph Public Works. They're going to act as our railing, make sure we're nice and safe while we're up here. Um, you should be able to see those go up Friday and start to see the tent on Friday as well if you drive by the mall, right in top of the uh, stone sorry the Stone Road Home Outfitters uh, location and like I said I look forward to seeing everybody on the 7th and 8th Saturday at 10 a.m. till Sunday at 5 p.m. we're gonna have the boot down low and the the boot in the mall so I look forward to seeing you there okay So Mike, uh, tell us a little bit about the rooftop camp out here. I see the aerial trucks starting to go down, all ready to go up or what? Oh yeah, we're really excited about the 2015 rooftop camp out challenge, our first annual event, and uh, we're really excited. You can see, we're just about ready to get up. Who's uh, who's going up there with you, Mike? Well, we got you, Matty Jure. We got Pat Moore. Dave Manuel. Dave Manuel. Steve Demetrius and Josh Shepard. Sounds like a and good yourself, crew to me. Turn, your, turn it around. <laughs> and you. The 11th Field Regiment. Colin! Get 
Let me down! <laughs> you weren't lying! You left me up here! <laughs> what that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Outside here at the Sonoma Mall, one inside as well. If you don't want to brave the elements, which I fully understand, and uh, we do have an online donation site which can be found off our uh, Twitter and Facebook. Okay. So, for this particular event, tell me about this plan. You've got a bunch of people sitting on Yeah, so uh, as you can see behind me, we have a bunch of other trucks that have come to kind of give us their blessing and put us up on the roof. And then we have uh, myself and five others who volunteered the weekend to, to stay up in the tent that was uh, graciously donated by the 11th Field Regiment. Stay up there. We have food donated, and uh, just try and not bug each other too much, and raise uh, raise enough money to meet our goals. Um, this is new for all of us, so we don't nobody really knows what to expect. We're just we're gonna try and be uh, be upbeat and, and uh, do the best we can for for a great cause. Yeah, I think we brought a deck of cards, and uh, somebody might have brought a board game, and uh, we have a couple of frisbees, so. We'll, uh, we'll see how the night progresses, how, what we end up doing, but maybe snow angels, a snow fort, just throw snowballs at each other. There you go, fantastic. Is there anything particular that you want to say about the event, or anything that you really want to say? Uh, well, I should, I should thank uh, a bunch of people with mind. Uh, this event couldn't happen without uh, a lot of people. Our department has obviously been, been huge. Um, all the media that's come out and supported the event and kind of promoted the event. Stone Road Mall for donating, uh, donating us to the roof and uh, making banners up for us, Muscular District of Canada obviously, and then our heater from United uh, Rentals, our tent from the 11th Field Regiment, food from Eastside Mario's, Finn McCool's, and a and and Tim Hortons for coffee, and I know I'm missing somebody, but just thank you to everybody who's uh, who's coming out and who's donated stuff. And, and you said that there's a Facebook page that you can go to? There is, so uh, facebook.com slash fire the number four and then MD and we have all of our links there we have pictures videos up there um, we're gonna be looking for feedback of activities from people so it's the same we have all of our uh, all of our online donation links off there and uh, anything that we're doing is gonna go up so. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so it's uh, February the 8th, Sunday, day two of our uh, camp out, and we survived after a really, really cold night last night. Everybody got along just fine, and I uh, just want to thank a few people for their efforts to make this possible. First of all, of course, I want to thank uh, everybody at GFD, in particular B1 Group, Glenn Morrison and B1 Group, uh, and uh, Dave Patterson in A1 Group for uh, making this possible. And I want to thank the campers, Matt Gervais, Matt, thanks Matt, Josh Shepard, Steve Demetrius, Dave Manuel, 
Pat Moore, all of you guys, uh, without you guys, it, this wouldn't be possible at all. I also want to thank uh, representatives from MD, Kerry Gibson and Kerry Stocks, uh, from Guelphstone Road Mall, uh, Christina McGee, and all of the uh, security staff. They've been awesome to accommodate us. Uh, Public Works, City of Guelph Public Works, Ian Hudman and Glenn Murray for donating the barricades and uh, sandbags to help us with uh, batting down the hatches on the, net, on the tent here. Uh, United Rental for their heaters that they donated to us, keeping us warm. And uh, all the guys from uh, the 11th Regiment for helping us out donating the tent and, uh, and uh, the lights too. Also, I want to thank about the meals that have been donated to us. Of course, Eastside Mario's, Finn McCool's, Tim Hortons, and A&W Burger for the awesome meals that, uh, that have been donated to us. Also, I want to thank the press, Daily Mercury, Guelph Tribune, Rogers TV, Snap Magazine, CJOY and Magic FM, and CTV Kitchener. I want to thank each and every one of you for making this possible. Thank you very much. Hi, and uh, we also like to thank, um, of course, uh, Chief Armstrong for making this possible, Chief Osborne, and uh, also our uh, Mayor of Guelph, uh, Cam Guthrie. Cam, thank you for everything that you did, your donation coming up here and uh, lifting up the morale. It was awesome having you up here. Thanks to everybody. Thank you. Okay, Steve, you're uh, just uh, second day here. Rooftop Campo, what do you think so far? Oh, it was great. Good morning, everybody. We uh, had a cold, icy night up here. It was windy. Um, we did good. Everybody worked hard. We got stuff moved up here, and we got to get stuff moved down here later on, and uh, raised a lot of money for MD. Uh, there were a couple of people here that, uh, that had MD. They were downstairs. They had their wheelchairs and the equipment that uh, the money that we raise uh, helps them out with, and uh, it was good to see that. What's been your favorite part so far of the campout, Steve? You know, I love being outside. That's been the best part. And seeing the support from the public out there has been pretty tremendous. Would you do it again next year? Absolutely. That's good. Anything oh, That's good. All Thanks right. for your help, Steve. Thanks to Steve. Okay, Shep, uh, we're on our second day here at the rooftop campout. Youngest member up here, what's it like? A lot of pressure being the, uh, the young gun. No, it's not too bad. Uh, junior man doesn't really work up here. This is separate from uh, the job. But no, it's been a good time. A little cold last night, but uh, now we're uh, back in the day. It's not, the sun's not out, but it's still a bit warmer than it was in the tent. So after going through last night, everyone's been saying it's kind of cold. What would you do uh, differently next year to kind of stay warmer or to plan a little better? Uh, I'd up the cuddling. I thought that was lacking. <laughs> But uh, it was good. Uh, we put the propane heater on at about three and that made a big difference. The electrical heater just weren't cutting it with the uh, big winds that were ripping through the seams of the tent. But uh, no, it wasn't bad. What would you say to the people of Guelph for, uh, who have come by and braved the cold to donate and donated all the food and that kind of stuff? Uh, yesterday was great. Uh, I, it surprised me actually how many people uh, came by and donated and uh, the just amount of money that was probably put in. I'm excited to have it all counted out. Um, it was it was awesome. The food that was donated by uh, A and W and Eastside Mario's and Tim Hortons was great. All right, thank you very much, Josh, for volunteering your time. Thank you. There's water inside. All right, Manny, second day, getting some good donations up here. It's been awesome. A little bit chilly night, I hear. Yeah, when the power went out and then the lights went out and then the generator went out, it got a little chilly. <laughs> I heard, uh, I heard though on an upside, you got some new fresh socks on. How does that feel? Oh, pretty great. Feeling about a million bucks right now. Warm socks, got my two gone. I think it's good. What would you do next year differently? Next year, um, not wear my bunker pants, boots, um, steel toes, and cold don't really work too well. So probably toss on the old baffins and have a good go at it next year. And what has been your favorite part? Shep said cuddling. I can only imagine that's, uh, that's that, you that's, as well. That's, that's, that's a close second, but uh, Cards Against Humanity last night was a good laugh for all of us. Good morale boost for the boys. Um, but cuddling was definitely with Mike in the middle. was probably the, the second. 
Exactly for sure. Is there anything you want to say to, uh, to everybody that donated? Uh, it's a real big thanks to everyone that came out, and uh, especially Matt and Mike for organizing most of this stuff, and then all the all the people that donated their time and uh, resources for this great cause, and uh, everyone that in the great city of Guelph that came out and donated money for us. So it's a big thank out, big shout, thanks to everyone that came out. Awesome, thanks for volunteering, buddy. No thanks, problem, Matt. Man. Thanks, Abe. Okay, Pat. Hey. The uh, the big driving force between uh, behind a lot of work going on up here. Pat shoveled a lot, did a lot with the tarps. Basically, uh, one of the MVPs up here. How does it feel, Pat? Well, it feels good to be up here supporting you guys. You guys pulled this together in a in a in a hurry and did a great job organizing everything. I think we've uh, managed to do a great uh, rooftop camp out for our first effort. Are you uh, you excited for the big three or four day uh, event next year? Uh, yes, I think you guys are going to have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what would you change about uh, about this for next year, Pat? Uh, I think we could get a bigger tent, maybe. But uh, you know, we certainly appreciate all the donations we got from the military, the local restaurants, uh, the supports of our chief and the mayors and other dignitaries here in town. It's been uh, it's been great to see this kind of support for MD and, and for the Guelph Fire Department and our efforts to raise money for them. Is there anything you want to say to Mike, all his hard work, or yeah, any like to the other guys? Just to reiterate, uh, Matt and Mike, you guys, as I said, you've done a great job organizing this, and uh, congratulations on pulling it together so fast. And thank you very Thanks, much Pat. for helping out, Pat. Thanks for helping out. Hey, Matty. Hi there. Good morning, everybody. Thanks, uh, thanks first of all, to uh, everyone who's come by on Saturday and Sunday morning so far with donations for MD. Uh, it looks like everybody has been very, very gener generous, and we really, really do appreciate that. Uh, as Mike mentioned, thanks to everybody who donated uh, stuff for the tent or food or, or money. Honestly, the, the outpouring of generosity in the city of Guelph and in this community has, uh, has really been awe-inspiring, and we're very fortunate to have got to, to see kind of Guelph at its best because to see what we've seen over the past couple of days is, uh, is, has been absolutely next level so thanks again for for everybody that's out here and look forward to doing this next year i know i speak for everybody when i say that hopefully next year is a plus 10 weekend but other than that no regrets and this has been awesome so uh we're gonna see you here next year are you maddie i'll be here yeah we're gonna up it to three or four uh, nights next year to, uh, <laughs> to mike's chagrin baby steps he's not real happy about it but uh we're gonna Everybody should be very excited already for next year because we got some cool things in the works, so uh, should be a good time. Awesome. Okay, thanks, Matt. Just want to uh, give the last update before we close everything out for this year's uh, rooftop campout. We were able to raise as a team uh, $4,812.33. So just again, thanks uh, thanks everybody who came out. And I look forward to seeing everybody next year where we uh, make it a little bit bigger and a little bit better. Thanks again.